Hi, this is me, it's Queen Oset Haru, and I'm coming to you with another exciting edition of Ask an Aquarius. So if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and smack the bell. If you like this video, please like and share it with anybody you think would like it as well. Now, today, someone asked me um, in my inbox, she said, in my opinion, what are the best most compatible signs to be with an Aquarius. Okay. Now I've talked about this in different videos, but this video is going to be specifically about what is best with Aquarius. Okay. So I'm going to say first and foremost, I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in order. The first is air signs. Okay. So, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius are the best three to go with Aquarius. Then Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, the fire signs. Lastly, Virgo. Those, in my opinion, are the best signs to go with Aquarius. Now, generally, earth and water signs, I would say, are the worst to go with Aquarius. So when you're dealing with, that's why I said Virgo last, because Virgo is an earth sign, but a Virgos are very intellectual. And I've come across a lot of Virgos, and I've had a lot of respect for them. Even the ones I didn't stay friends with, I had a lot of respect for them. I have a lot of respect for their work ethic. I have a lot of respect for them. Virgos are amazing at what they do. Even though they're the last <laughs> person I would put with Aquarius between Libra being first, Virgo would be last, but they still are in the running. And it's because of their intelligence. It's because of their intelligence and how much I admire and respect them. Uh, Virgos have the tendency to have amazing work ethics. Think about the Virgos you know. Uh, Beyonce is a Virgo. Michael Jackson was a Virgo. You know, these are people who are amazing talents. You know, they're amazing at what they do. Um, no matter what you think about their personal lives, as far as their work ethics are concerned, they are amazing. As a matter of fact, Beyonce and Michael Jackson are often even compared to each other, you know, because of their amazing work ethics. Um, and that's what I love about Virgo. They're very intelligent. You can talk to Virgos. They have a lot of thoughts about things. The only problem with Virgos is that sometimes they do what I call mental masturbation, which means they think about things just for the sake of thinking about them. And as a young Aquarius, I would have thought that was fun. But as an older Aquarius, I think it's a waste of time. So me and my Virgos clash in that area a lot of times, but I have a lot of respect for Virgos. One of the things I like about them is all the Virgos that I know personally, when they tell me they're going to do something, they do it. If they can't do it, they let me know. They're not the wishy-washy type. If, if, if they promise me something, they go for it. They do their best effort to make it happen, even if it's of discomfort to themselves sometimes. So I like them in that capacity. But like I said, earth and water signs are the last ones you put with Aquarius. Earth signs in general are just too rigid. And Virgo has that too. But it's that intellect it's that draws the Aquarius. So um, that rigidness, um, wanting to do, like Virgos want to do the same thing all the time, over and over again. And I'd be like, can't we do something else? <laughs> you know? So that is often problematic. But a lot of earth signs are rigid. You know, some of them have that rigidness to them. And for an Aquarius, having rigidness is difficult. Uh, being with somebody who is rigid is difficult. Then the water signs. The water signs to me are really difficult as well because it's too much emotion. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is too much emotion. My daughter is a Scorpio. And one of the things that we have a real difficulty with is when she is, in my opinion, overly emotional about something that I'm trying to handle, you know, like a, like an emergency and she's being overly emotional. And I'm like, look, if you don't calm your ass down, you know, those times. So the over emotion of the water signs is hard for us. Now, in a family, when it's your daughter, when it's your son, when it's your mom, your dad, that's one thing. But when it's your lover, it's really hard. I've had uh, water sign lovers. I've had a Pisces. My first boyfriend was a Pisces. The very first real relationship I was in, he was a Pisces. 
Um, I've been with a Pisces. I've been with a Scorpio. I was dating a Scorpio once. He was a stripper. Oh, he was crazy. He was wild. He was fun, too. I loved hanging out with him. But as far as longevity was concerned, mm -mm. nah. He thought he was too slick, and I was slicker. So it wasn't, it wasn't shit happening. Then um, cancer. You all know I've had relations with a cancer that went horribly. But, you know, one of the things I think about when I think about cancers and the, over the last couple of days is that if I had had a positive cancer... I think it would have been a better situation, but it still would have been a hard vibration because again, all that water. Aquarius have a really hard time with all that water. All that water translates to emotion and sometimes an overflow of emotion. And we're sitting there like, oh my God, I'm drowning. That's why we're the water bearers. <laughs> you ever notice when you see a depiction of Aquarius, Aquarius is bringing the water. We have it in a vase, like the vase that I just drew, uh, the vase that I just painted the other day. So we have a vase of water, usually, or some kind of spring of water. We're not in the water. Notice that. It's very, symbolism is very important, especially in the ancient world. And these symbols come up from ancient times. And notice that we're not in the water. We're bringing the water. We have control over the water. The water is in a little controlled vessel, <laughs> you know, and that's how Aquarius deal with emotion. We have a little control. We control our own emotion. And when somebody else comes to us with these uncontrolled emotions, it's really hard for us to deal with. So we're bringing the water. We're cool with water. We love water. We have a lot of water, but we don't get in the water because we know the water will take us over. We know it's too much sometimes. And I've talked to a lot of people who are in relationships, a lot of Aquarius who are in relationships with Cancers or Scorpios or Pisces. And even the ones that are happy tell me that is the difficult part. So they can make it work, but it's still something that's difficult for them. Okay. So water signs and earth signs, I really don't recommend. I met an Aquarius the other day that was with a Capricorn. And I was thinking to myself, I married a Capricorn. I know what that's like. You know, uh, my mom's a Capricorn, my sister's a Capricorn, my grandmother was a Capricorn. I know Capricorns like the back of my hand. So um, that's another very difficult vibration for Aquarius. Uh, some of us can make it work though because we're ruled by Saturn. The Aquarius is ruled by Saturn and Uranus, two planets. And the Saturn planet goes along with the energy and the vibration of Capricorn, very serious kind of energy, except for the fact that Capricorn has more of a, more of a, like a financial stability as their focus. So that can possibly work because of that. But again, very difficult. So like I said before, those are the most difficult ones. And then let me get to my favorite ones. Libra, love, 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 love my Libras. A balanced Libra is like my heart, you know. Um, I've been around a lot of Libras. I've known a lot of Libras. I can't even count how many Libras I've known in some kind of capacity. I love Libras because they have a very gentle energy, a very charming energy. Um, I love that. They're very intellectual. One of my favorite Libras and I used to do a daily book club. And we would have a book and we would come during lunch with each other and talk about our book. We did this every day for like eight years. <laughs> you know, we were both teachers and we would do this all the time. Um, I love Libras. Um, they have a tendency to, um, their loyalty is off to me. And that's why my relationships with them don't last more than like a decade because their loyalty is off. A Libra has a tendency to be a fair weather friend. And I don't like that. Either we friends or we're not. If I get the inclination that we're not, then I stop talking to the person and I just fly away. You know how Aquarius do. So a lot of my relationships with Libra, that's basically how they ended was that they did some shit and I just left. You know, I just, I just went about my business because at the end of the day, it's the bottom line. But that's only like 5% of the energy I've had with Libras. The overall overwhelming majority, the 95% has been great. 
has been great energy, talking, laughing, joking, going places, going to festivals, reading books together. Libras are just as smart and intellectually open-minded as the Aquarius. We have a great time doing those kind of things. Um, somebody also mentioned to me Geminis. A lot of astrologers say that Geminis are really great with Aquarius. I've never been in a romantic relationship with a Gemini, but I did hang with a Gemini all through college. And we did have a very good vibration, but Geminis, again, are two different people. So one of them is always really different than the other one. They're, they're in themselves a twin. So the Gemini, like for example, my friend, he was an old man and a young man. Sometimes he acted real old, like an old man, like literally reading the newspaper, but all, <laughs> all staunching, you know, the next minute he's pulling pranks and doing and running around the courtyard, you know, and he went between these two, like in the morning, he might be the old man and in the afternoon he had, I guess, warmed up to the young guy. And then sometimes the young guy came out in the morning. It was just back and forth, but it was either a young man or an old man. You never knew which one you were going to get. You had to wait and see by his, his behavior, which one you had. So some people say they've had success with that relationship as well. So that's the other one. I've been with an Aquarius. Uh, it was okay. The problem with the Aquarius Aquarius is just the fact that we're both very masculine in our energy. So it's hard to tell who's the leader, <laughs> you know, who's in charge here, you know. So that's a big problem between the two of us. But other than that, the relationship was okay. That was our main issue. It was like, you know, too much masculine energy. And at that time, I wasn't into my feminine energy at all. I didn't even understand it. So I was always in my warrior. So it, that just didn't go well. Two masculines, it didn't go well. It was too, man, too much masculine energy. And then I mentioned the fire signs, my next favorite. So Aries, uh, positive energy, very passionate, a little overbearing. That could be a problem. Um, Leo, fun energy, but they have a tendency not to be committal. Problem there. Um, but fun. Sagittarius, difficulty with commitments as well. Um, sometimes, sometimes not, of course. Because remember, in all these situations, you know, you have to deal with their moon sign, their rising sign. So it's things that could switch up the energy. But in general, Leos and Sages um, have an issue with that committal energy too. And the Aquarius got the same thing. So how are you going to have a non-committal Aquarius with a non-committal Sag? <laughs> it's going to be some crazy stuff. But when they do commit to each other, they make a great team. Aquarius and Sag, Aquarius and Leo, Aquarius and Aries. When they do commit to each other, they do make a great team. So like I said before, the best signs for Aquarius are those. Um, the Virgo, of course, got honorable mention, but typically you stay away from, away from earth, and, um, earth and water. Now, the best way to do any of this is to get a compatibility chart. Because what you want to do is you want to go to the person that you're interested in. You want their birthday. You want their place of birth and their time of birth. Go to astro.com or any other um, astrology site that does compatibility charts for free. And you plug in their information and you plug in your information. Now you have a more specific energy because you have their entire chart, not just their sun sign, and your entire chart, not just your sun sign. And you can get a better idea if you're compatible or not. So if you think that the person that you're with is compatible, if you're an Aquarius and it's a Libra, go look at their chart and see if they're really compatible. They might have things going on in their chart to make them less compatible. Or you might like a Capricorn and you might go do their chart and they have an Aquarius moon, a Libra rising. These kind of things are going to make your relationship with them different. You know, it's going to it's going to switch up the energy. So go look at the entire chart. What I'm giving you today are just the general sun signs in general. These sun signs work with these sun signs. But if you do a specific chart, you might be able to go a little bit deeper and find out some things that you wouldn't have known if you didn't look. A person's moon sign they say is who they really are. They say it's their emotional self. It's the part of themselves they don't reveal to the world too. 
So a lot of times a person's moon sign, like I said before in another video, either helps or takes away from the person's personality. Like in my case, I have a Sagittarius moon. That shit don't help me at all. Sagittarius is too much like Aquarius. We're too non-committal. We're too flighty, spontaneous. We have so much in common. Fire, some of us have bad tempers. Some of them have bad tempers. We have too much in common. So having a Sag moon just makes me more Aquarius, basically. And then I have an Aquarius rising sign. So here we go with more Aquarius. And then when you look further in my chart, I got three or four more placements in Aquarius. So I'm very Aquarius. You know, when I open a book and it says Aquarius, there's a picture of me. <laughs> like, hi. <laughs> very Aquarius. And some people might not be that Aquarius. They might have just the Aquarius sun, but some other stuff going on. So take a good look at your compatibility chart if you really, really like somebody and want to know if you guys can make it. Again, the site I use is called astro.com. I'm not affiliated with this site. They don't know me. They don't pay me. <laughs> but I use them. I've been using them for like 10 years or so. It's called Astro. A-S-T-R-O dot com. And I've been using that site for like 10 years. And of course, I'll put the link underneath here for you guys that want to check it out. But I've been using them for a long time because they give free reports. <laughs> and it helped me to look at relationships with people and be like, ah, oh, okay, this is going on, you know? So thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for being here. Please like this video. If you, if you like it, please like it. Hit that like button and hit that share button. Okay, see you guys later. Bye-bye.